What is up everyone in the Ripple and XRP community? Welcome back, folks. It's Tuesday. It's almost over. We're almost halfway through the week. I'm ready for the weekend. This whole five-day work week just doesn't do it for me. I know it's definitely not doing it for you. We need to get down to like a three-day work week. Four days off it sounds amazing. Now, doesn't it? But check it out. In this video, we're going to talk about a couple of key things here. Coinbase. Is Coinbase going to relist XRP? I got you covered. I'll give you my thoughts, my opinions, and what I think is going to go down, and I think it's pretty spot on here. We're going to hear a panel from, uh, it's from Swell, I believe, 20, 2020. A question that Brad Kimes asked, and an interesting, an interesting piece of information that was just put out to us about David Schwartz and what he said and what he did during this question. We're gonna hear from about the digital euro and what they're looking for. And we're gonna get a little bit of a flashback of Brad Gollinghouse. How about Coinbase inside a trading case? What's going on there? It looks like it's gonna be delayed a little bit. And then Ethereum. Yeah, Ethereum. They think that they did everything right and that the lawsuit brought upon Ripple was the right thing to do. But Ethereum doesn't think they did anything wrong. Interesting, isn't it? Without further ado, folks, let's get into this thing. Total cryptocurrency market cap, one trillion two hundred and three billion. Bitcoin dominance, 45.38%. Bitcoin's coming in at 28,247. Ethereum, 1,836. XRP, a mean lean, 49 cents. It seems like we are back into a little bit of an accumulation zone. Let's see if we can hold these levels so we can shoot on back up. Ethereum, last video, give you a key number to pay attention to. We're flirting with it right now. It's about 1850. We're about 1836. XRP wants to hold this 49 cent zone. We don't want it to fall below and have a closure above it. Time will obviously tell. Let's hope Bitcoin acts nice to us. Let's see some of the money that went into Doge come back into Bitcoin. Now, just released on the site, Lux Lines Generation 2. This is the Pride Tier April drop. Every month, we only dropped 75 of these last month, as you would expect. They sold out. 75 in stock, about 160 bucks each, about 325 XRP. For holding one of these, you get 30% back in XRP. The link will be below. You're going to want to scoop some of these up, folks. Last month, we paid out over 18,000 XRP back to the community. And all you got to do is hold. We take a snapshot at the end of the month. I go to Xmart. They run a report for all NFTs minted from this collection. I see how many you got. I give you XRP back. It's, it's a win-win. Who remembers this from Jim Cramer? It's a couple months ago. I'm negative on X, the XRP and the Litecoin and the Dogecoin because I've yet to find anything that re anybody who really takes them. Oh, he's negative on the XRP. It's like the Ohio State, right? The Dogecoin. Oh, Cramer strikes again. What happened to Dogecoin yesterday? Who knows? I believe Dogecoin actually at one point jumped over Cardano. It did as it zoomed up almost a 30%. Oh, Kramer, you will never learn. Wheezy, put this out. Let's give him a retweet. Ethereum co-founder Anthony Delorio says they did things right, which is why they're not in a situation like Ripple. You can't make this stuff up. Listen to this. But that was my contribution, was a lot of the structure, the initial funding, uh, the planning to make sure that what we did wouldn't have any consequences down the road. Because if it, we had gone the full-on developer way they wanted to do things, we would have done the crowd sale right at the beginning. And we probably wouldn't be, uh, um, it wouldn't be a, a situation where Ethereum would be where it is right now. You maybe would have ended up more of a ripple situation or something else. So we had to do things properly and we offered a lot of the guidance to make sure that it got done right initially. Is this guy out of his freaking mind? You told people to create fake identities, fake emails, so they would be able to buy Ethereum. You had an ICO, but you did things the right way? You show me where. Where in the United States? It states that you can have an ICO and not be a security. You are raising funds for your company. You also dumped on everyone. <coughs> the Ethereum Foundation. But somehow, folks, they think they did things the right way. Yeah. Okay, good luck. Coinbase inside a trading case is delayed due to a settlement in the works that could have significant impact on secondary sales of crypto. 
This is very interesting. I want to see what happens here. It says today the SEC and Isan and Niki Wahi agreed to delay the briefing schedule in the first case of the insider trading of tokens. They believe a settlement is in the works and this could just could have some potential uh, effects on the secondary sales of crypto. I mean, I don't know what the effects are going to be, but all I know is that these guys from Coinbase, they knew a token that was going to be listed on Coinbase months in advance. And what did they do? They told everyone they knew to buy it, and then they dumped it when it got listed. Where do you think we got the Coinbase effect from the Coinbase pump from? From these insiders. They need to be locked up. And now here's the thing. Disrespectful asked this statement um, at Swell. I believe it was Swell 2020. I could be wrong. But listen to the end of this of what DII states was uh, stated by Joel Katz. Reminded me of when I was at Sw uh, Sing Swell in Singapore in 2019, Brad Combs stood up and asked this question right here to Raghuram Rashan, who used to be the central bank head of India. I want to ask a question about globalization. If you could talk about the idea of the old concept of the bank of coin and a neutral asset being in place of a global reserve status of the dollar and possibly that being XRP. You know, uh, what you're asking for is whether there's a possibility of a global currency. And to some extent, that's what Libra was trying to do. And as I understand it, that's different from what X XRP is trying to do. And, and, and the reason it is, is as follows. As soon as you go to maintaining the value, right, some kind of stable coin, uh, a whole set of regulatory concerns get triggered. Regulations, but you, but when he when he asked that question, what you can't see there, but I was sitting in the room, there was literally when he asked that question, it was kind of like there was a low applause, and it because everybody in that room wanted to know the answer to that, and the fact that he wasn't laughed out of the room. But let me tell you what did happen when he asked that question. He saw David Schwartz get up. I know this because I talked to Brad Combs. He said he saw David Schwartz get up and walk out of the room, and he followed him out of the room, and he, and he literally walked up to David Schwartz, and he said, was I out of line by asking that question? And just to boil the conversation down to so many words, what, what Brad, what I remember this being said was that, that from Schwartz was in so many words, well, who else is going to do it? China? And, and was, in, a, in essence, making the point the same point that that guy just made in that video. China being a communist country, they know if they want to maintain that communist control. It's a very interesting statement and uh, the sequence of events that went down there, right? Who else is going to do it? I'm not sure why I uh, lost my file on DII. There you go. It's back. Now we get this. Christine Lagarde, she's the second one in. Talking about the digital euro, how it's intended to be safe, intended to be sovereign, and it's intended to be available to all, anywhere, anytime, at the cheapest possible cost, at no cost. I'm not going to play this clip for you, don't you worry. But this is interesting, right? Come from the BIS summit that just went down uh, at the end of March, March 21st. I just want to remind you who the head of the BIS is. Bottom left-hand corner, it's Augustin Corston's over there, Okay. Why was Brad Gollenhouse on stage with these people a couple of years back? Christine Lagarde was there when she worked with the IMF. There is so much going on behind the scenes. There is a reason you see Brad sitting up on panels like this with these people. You don't see anyone else. Where's Charles Hopkins? Where's Jen McCaleb? Where's Satoshi Nakamoto? Where's Joe Lubin? Where are all these other people that are supposed to be industry leaders? They aren't invited to stuff like this. But Brad's up there. With the director of markets for the IMF, the chairman of the Saudi Arabian Monetary Authority, the chief executive of the Hong Kong Monetary Authority, Christine Lagarde, who was the head of the IMF at the time, and Augustine Carsons, who's the head of the BIS. Interesting, isn't it? Now, we get over to this Coinbase. Will Coinbase relist the XRP as Coinbase chief legal officer agrees with the investment on the investment contracts argument? Here's what I'm going to say on this. Coinbase never had to delist XRP. Coinbase was never told to delist XRP. It stated in the SEC 
little press release about this whole XRP thing that exchanges were not told to remove XRP, that they were able to still sell it and list it, and they would only have to delist it if and or when XRP was or was not to be deemed security. Lawsuit's still going on. So why did Coinbase delist it? You got to ask yourself. Why did Binance US delist it? They all knew they didn't have to. Now, as the price of XRP is picking up, what's happening? The volume is picking up. What does that mean? More money is coming into XRP. Coinbase, been struggling as an exchange within the US. We viewed their weekly visits. It's like 36,000 people visit the website a week, which is absolutely trash. Their volume is at like an all-time low. They need to do something to pick up. They're laying people off. Why? Ask yourself, why in the world would a Coinbase put XRP back on their platform? Folks, I think it's coming. They're allowed to relist. They're allowed to still sell XRP. The SEC has stated that themselves. I think Coinbase is going to do the right thing. I think Coinbase is going to try to come out on top and look like a hero out of all this. I've said it since day one. How do you get that going? How do you get that started? You get XRP back on the platform, folks. I'm going to leave it like that. Listen, wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind to each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.